everybody, I'm Rachel from Mrs. Rachel Brady. I blog and vlog about family, food and home. I have three children, Arthur is eight, Beatrix is six, and Stanley is six months next week. Um, today's video is a grocery haul from Tesco and it's kind of geared towards the fact that I want to lose a bit of weight uh, post baby. So if that's interesting to you, then why not keep watching? So yeah, I'm gonna share with you what I bought. It's the biggest shop I've ever done, I think. It's like 200 pounds, I think it's 200 pounds. Kind of on a bit of a health kick. I am wanting to lose a bit of my mum tum and I am absolutely not, like I've never been on a diet. I am such a happy, greedy guts and I'm not, I don't believe in diets. However, I am on a bit of a health kick. So trying to eat a bit more like low fat. I'm trying to not eat bread in the week. I'm trying to not drink alcohol in the week. And I'm trying to just eat like really healthy in the week and then much more relaxed at the weekends. Guys, there's so much here and I've had to go onto the table down there <laughs> with the alcohol and long life milk. <laughs> right, I'm gonna start over here. So, uh, I'll show you on the meal plan. I'm gonna do like a pressure cooker, chicken burgers, like pulled chicken brioche burger type thing. Um, that doesn't sound very low fat and healthy, does it? But we are treating ourselves to that. We'll probably do it on next Friday night. Um, yeah, so barbecue sauce to do that. We ran out of soy sauce. We're doing a lot of kind of Chinesey type things at the minute. Soy sauce, sriracha, absolutely love this stuff. Trying to have less of it because it's very heavy in sugar and salt. But yeah, we do like that on our eggs and avocado on toast. Um, Tesco have started doing this cheap brand called Stockwell. I've never bought any of it. I do like, I really like the cheap stuff from Tesco. Certain things are well worth buying cheap. Baked beans is one of them. So I've tried that and it was dead cheap to get four cans of those. Uh, these are also really cheap. You know the East End brand, it's like an Indian food brand and that, that is really cheap at Tesco. So I've got some chickpeas because I'm going to make a bit of homemade hummus. This is really good for when you're on a bit of a low, you know, um, low carb, high protein type diet. Although I, by diet I mean diet as in not diet. <laughs> Does that make sense? Not as in like weight loss but just yeah. Shut up Rachel, carry on. Uh, yeah, so we always treat ourselves to the no drain stuff because Adam just insists on it and he does his head in when you're opening can of tuna and the oil goes everywhere. I think they were on offer, so I've got three of those. I'm a bit astounded, I must say, how much I've got. I think I just went a bit click happy. Um, so these are the brioche burger buns for the pulled apart chicken barbecue burger things. Uh, and I have got this bread and it's called Nimble and I'm hoping it's low calorie bread but it just looks to me like a normal sliced brown so I'm hoping at the weekend I'm gonna have like that so I'm trying not to eat bread in the week uh, God, I mean none of this sounds very kind of healthy so far really but I've got these because I like mini bars if you are gonna have a treat what I'll do with something like that is it's a mini bar and I'll give the kids one chunk each and I'll have one chunk with like a cup of tea if I'm really craving that type of thing macaroni I'm gonna do a veg packed macaroni and cheese oh no actually I'm gonna do a cauliflower mac and cheese this week because what I'm doing is the evening meal uh, I'm kind of being really healthy all day and then the evening meal just eating normal family food um, because otherwise it's just not doable. So that's my approach right now. So fruit wise bananas because we have a baby that's being weaned at the minute who has bananas and I eat a lot of bananas. Just fruit, yeah, look, uh, we've got the oranges which are great at night in front of the telly. We all have an orange sometimes. I've got the little clementines. Avos, I know they're calorific, but um, they're so good for you and they're so good. I've been putting them on a piece of Rivita and having them with like a mug of soup for lunch. I love them sliced with uh, poach, with like, I call them poached, but like microwaved poached eggs, which is a hack of mine. Um, and tomato, so like avocado, tomato and egg is a really good breakfast if you're trying to avoid toast and stuff. I have accidentally over-ordered because, on strawberries, because I've got these as well, look, because it's. I ordered these and then I went back to my basket and it said these are now out of stock. We suggest these, so I bought those and now they've obviously, they obviously weren't out of stock or they've added them to my order. Anyway, that is one of the perils of online shopping. So I've got ridiculous amount of strawberries. So it looks like it's berries for breakfast every day this week. Blackberries, I didn't even realize I'd ordered blackberries. Grapes, but also berries, they were great if you're trying to like lose a bit of weight. Um, Apples, my son loves apples, garlic because we needed some. Uh, stay on the 
fruit. Is that all of the fruit? I think so. Uh, yeah, so microwave rice, absolute family food lifesaver. These are great with the quinoa as well. Like you could just toss those around with a bit of kale in a pan, a little bit of soy sauce. That's a really nice lunch with a fried egg on top and some sliced avocado. That's a really nice, like healthy mum lunch. I've got some just brown rices there as well there. They're really good just for like quick teas. And this, I never buy stuff like this. So I just thought, do you know what? That might be nice with a fried egg on top or a poached egg on top for lunch. Smoked salmon. I eat a lot of smoked salmon and so does my husband and so does my daughter. Um, we find this Tesco smoked salmon is really good and it's always uh, slightly on offer. It always seems to be slightly on offer so it's not that expensive. Great with avocado and eggs for breakfast without the bread just because we're on a health kick and this this kind of smoked prosciutto platter thing get this quite a lot it's great to chuck on top of homemade pizzas even though they're not in the meal plan they're all it's also great to have with a bit of tomatoes for breakfast just like fresh tomatoes it's a bit of a continental breakfast um chicken breast we are big chicken thigh eaters in this house but like i say we're trying to be healthy so these are skinless and so I'm going to use those in my pressure cooker with some barbecue sauce and do a kind of pulled apart chicken burger type thing. Um, dry, ba dry bacon, not dry bacon, what is, God, put your teeth back in, dry cure back bacon. So I am a big streaky bacon girl but I'm trying to be healthier so I've gone onto the back bacon. We're going to have like a grilled English breakfast tomorrow uh, and try and keep it kind of low cal. Uh, free range chicken, that's in the meal plan. We're gonna have roast chicken tomorrow. Steak and chips we are having tonight. I've decided I'm gonna switch it out of the meal plan. I actually had it for next week. We're gonna have it tonight. Uh, so we're gonna, I've got three steaks here. So the kids will have half a steak each. And I couldn't find any green peppercorns, which I personally think you need to make a peppercorn sauce with. So I just got a cheat sauce, because it's Friday night. So treating myself to a ready-made sauce. Uh, reduced fat sausages, no idea what they're gonna be like. I'm gonna try them anyway. I was actually looking for like turkey sausages, which is what they have in the States, and they're really quite healthy, but they don't have them much here in the UK. Jackie potatoes, really good to chuck in the oven for a quick Saturday family lunch. Des Desiree potato, Desiree, Desiree, re re well, red skin potatoes. They're really good all round, just some mash and roast. I've got mountains of veg here. So I've got loads of these salads, which I love for my lunch. Uh, I've got a bag of frozen peas to have with something I can't remember what in the meal plan. Tomatoes, my daughter loves those. Cucumber, my son loves cucumber. Mushrooms to have with English breakfast. Onions just for cooking. Sweet potatoes. I am trying to eat more sweet potatoes when it's just me. None of the rest of the family particularly like them. My son doesn't mind them. Uh, I've bought two cauliflowers. I thought one of them I could maybe do into a soup or into a roasted cauliflower, maybe toss it around with some brown rice and quinoa for a bit of a healthy salad. Carrots, I've been munching on carrots in, in, in the afternoon as a little snack. So these, the idea is I'm gonna do like dippy eggs in the morning and replace my toast with these. That was my idea, so that's why I've got two of them. Beans, I'm gonna, you could do the same with them. That's a really good one to do with dippy eggs or, they will be nice with the roast dinner and so will that cauliflower. These, I am addicted to these. I discovered these a couple of years ago when the kids were at swimming and I was like, they are amazing. So just for like a Friday night snack uh, to make it like a bit of a healthier crisp, isn't it? Turkey, really good if you're on a health kick. Um, just, they're good for sandwiches, aren't they? Although I swear I didn't buy three packets of those. You know what, when you're online shopping, like your finger just goes a bit click. Happy, doesn't it? 0% yogurt for me, full fat yogurt for the baby, some of these kids' yogurts here. I probably wouldn't give these to the baby, they're a bit sweet. Um, but the other kids like them as a pudding. I bought light Philadelphia uh, and I bought light spread the first time in my entire life I've ever bought light spread. I am a butter girl. I'm a very much like a full fat girl normally, but I am trying to just lose that mum tum. So coleslaw, that's to go with the chicken burgers. Cheese, because cheese, need a, lot, need a lot of cheese in the house. Reduced fat mozzarella. I had something I was gonna do that was gonna con Oh, I know, it's the cauliflower mac and cheese. Uh, cottage cheese, classic, low fat cheese. This was on offer, he's just turned six months, so I know it's the exact same thing as the first stage stuff, like with vitamin D added or something like that. Uh, it was actually on offer though, so it proves cheaper buying it like that. 
um, instance because we do end up using quite a lot of instance um, when we're not, you know, organised. This soup, I bought a load of fresh soups in last, in last week's shopping. It is so nice. It tastes like homemade, really punchy, lots of really good flavours. Really impressed with that. I shared a tub of this with Adam and what did we have with it? I can't remember now. I think I just had like Rivita as an after after pudding type thing with, with nut butter on. But yeah, really recommend those, really nice. Over here we have UHC milk. I always have a few of these in the cupboard just because we have a milk delivery from the milkman and sometimes we don't get it right and we run out. Or sometimes we just have loads of milk and we run out. I am oh. out tomorrow at like a kind of body shop party thing where when uh, yeah, everyone's bringing a bottle or two to that. So I'm taking those and we're, yeah, we started having the odd drink again because I went off alcohol for quite a long time. And so I'm just like having a bottle of wine in the fridge, a bottle of red, not in the fridge, obviously. And it's there if we want it and not if we're not. What I'm finding is Adam's not very well at the minute, so he's not drinking at all. I will open a bottle of white wine, have like a glass. And then what I learned this week is that if it's in the fridge and it's still open from the weekend, it's very hard not to have a glass <laughs> and I'm trying not to drink in the week so I think what I learned was try and use up the open bottle at the weekend whether it's putting it in some gravy or drinking it. Guys I hope you enjoyed that video um, and yeah I look a bit weird today I've just come back from a dog walk with a friend that's why. Um, yeah give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, my brain is not in sync with my mouth today so I was a bit blah 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 blah. That's because I woke up at half three because the baby was chattering and I couldn't get back to sleep so sorry about that and um, I will see you next time.